Another day, more coffee. Can't you get enough of this cup of joe? Oh, oh my god. I almost spilled it. Uh, technical difficulties, I'll need to be back. I need to get a napkin. Okay, so listen. We're jumping back into coffee talk. We're on day three, Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Super Smiles? What a name for a group. Stop workplace racial profiling. The Orkish? Or yes, Orkish, because orcs. Workers' Union demands. We still have brain! Make peace! Vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private schools. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, Freya? Not Freya. Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Honey milk. Okay. Milk? Should I do honey honey or milk milk? Do I have a recipe for this? Honey milk, honey milk. How do I... Um... Can I save any of the recipes that I make? Let's do that. We'll brew that, I guess. I don't know. How do I discover recipes? Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Not, not too chatty, are ya? Is that Freya? It is. Hey, seems like there's a cat. Oh! Oh my god, she got him with me! Relax, it's okay. Hey kitty cat, what are you looking for? Want some milk? Oh! Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy- <laughs> You look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw Nekomimi transforming. Nekomimi? We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Nekomimi friends. I won't say that I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. It does. They do jump a, a lot on many things and they're very uh, limber. Limber? Then commuting as a human, I mean, then commuting as a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, milk and nothing else. Milk, milk, milk. So she wants steamed milk, specifically. Milk. <laughs> Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. Also probably, like, hitting on her a little. It's really good. You're welcome. Oh, it's it's just milk. Just steamed it. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Er, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old, so I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you... Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly! Seriously. You've never seen me on TV or social media? Are you one of the private school kids who's been taught how to vlog? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Pfft, snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be in the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> Not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. If this is some kind of made cafe experiment or something... So, what do you want to order? The usual. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew. 
Mm. So, yeah, how can I save my recipes? Like the ones that I've made so far. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait, a minute? You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia, the member of Super Smiles who just graduated and started her solo career? Uh-huh. <laughs> You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk? <laughs> oh, I mean, fair play, Rachel. Like, you are just drinking milk. <laughs> I'm serious, but you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked. Hey, I got an achievement! <laughs> reach a certain point in the story. I like that they did, um reach a certain point in the story instead of telling us exactly why you would get the achievement because then it would just kind of like spoil part of the the story plot right you know when rachel the celebrity comes to visit no seriously why are you here hmm. well you know the usual young folks problems i had a fight with my father and so here i am ah i see but is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Yeah, okay. I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are your what are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. Oh, that's a sore spot. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. Who actually says showbiz? <laughs> I guess Rachel. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Who else just arrived? We haven't heard much from this, this lady over here. Ah, Georgie. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. What do you want, bud? Anyway, yes, officer. I need something for my sore, sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? I can. Green tea? Tea. Okay, green tea, lemon, and honey. Mmm. I like... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Lemon and ginger. I meant lemon and honey. Lemon ginger green tea. That's not what he wanted. So hold on. Oh, let me start over. I trashed my first drink. He wanted with lemon and honey. I'm a big lemon and ginger with honey fan. Especially, <laughs> cough syrup. Especially for a sore throat. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup. <laughs> uh, of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Like, don't get me wrong. Green tea, lemon, and honey pops off. 10 out of 10 drink. But if you boil ginger on the stove, you put a little bit of honey in there, and then you put some lemon in it to reduce the amount of bite that the ginger has, my goodness, your throat is going to thank you. The amount of antioxidants in that, so good for you. Damn, this is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? I'm full up tonight, guys. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Oh, you sure you want to hear it? Yeah. The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. <laughs> Boom. Seriously. Yeah, today's payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that and the labor union protest, everything's fine though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that 
strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Who was that? Where's she going now? She said I'm going back now. Who the hell was that? She just sat here and read. I'm pretty sure that's normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? How did you know? <laughs> you can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. That's exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> You're the one who's posted over here, Georgie. Shouldn't you be making it 100% safe? Don't look at me like that. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. She can hear you. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You're a father yourself. Oh, right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? <laughs> That's exactly what I was just saying. Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. She's in the middle. She's between you two. Of course she's able to hear you. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before my mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm, nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Yeah, okay. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. Mm, I don't know that that would be the case. Like, I don't think that your dad would be yelling to your mom about stuff, but not addressing it with you. That doesn't seem healthy. Like, that's just protecting you from something that your dad is feeling when you guys should really be talking about it, like, between the two of you. Maybe your mom can, like, settle him down enough to actually see both sides of the situation a little more clearly, but then you guys still have to talk about it. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot? But why did you run this time? My daughter's never ran away. Wait, maybe it's because I'm the one who always runs away. Oh boy. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But, yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, 
I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? Probably just not a good idea. <laughs> I'm an adult. No adult would ever say, I'm an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. And I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. Yeah, that is a good point, I guess. You are, you really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Nico Town. Oh, that's quite far. <laughs> You're still gonna drive me home, right? Hmm, old man. Uh, of course I will, I guess. I should drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. It's raining outside. Come to think of it, it's kind of always raining outside. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, well, I'll be off then. Thank you, guys. Take care on your way home. See you around. Bye. Is anyone else going to come in or is it just me and Freya? And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel, Freya. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So, yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay, then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming in and using my coffee shop as a therapy uh, office. <laughs> Ginger latte, warm energy boost. Perfect for a cold evening. Hmm. So I'm definitely going to have to figure out how to, like, save recipes. Or maybe they'll give me a tutorial later because it looks like... Most of my book is just continuing to say undiscovered, but then they give me suggestions like ginger latte, which I could definitely make. So I wonder if it's like a specific combination that I have to put in. Anyway, that's for another time and we'll figure it out another episode. The story is starting to get a little interesting. We're seeing a little bit more into the lives and I like that Freya is getting a lot of information and inspiration for her book. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.